what's up so today we got some new stuff for you uh, look at that this is the MLTT monoid ceramic capacitor so what we do today is the we try to recover some silver and palladium maybe some gold from that MLTT here I got uh, about uh, 280 grand, grams that MLTT is 280 grams almost 300 grams so if you see inside we got a lot of species we got some big one and a small one see that big one that big one we got some this one this is not the MLCC sometimes it is sometimes not but uh, it's got a couple inside never mind we got some precious precious metal too maybe some silver here I got one tantalum so what I do for the first is uh, I want to crush that stuff to the fine, fine finer dust and I do that with hammer the same like I chips so maybe for some of you this is not a good way but for the small amount which I have now see that okay for crushing I use I'll show you for crushing MLCC I use this system this is the train uh, part of the train uh, road for train so just I use bucket because I don't want to splash another every side so just like this so that this way you are crash about 90% and that's it is see that see on bottom it's pretty fast or if you if that easier for you you could do it like this just uh, put that in some metal can this is my uh, stainless steel pot and you just kick him okay I think I agree that enough pretty cool Still got some bigger pieces. See that, but never mind. So, what I'm doing next? I got this big jar because the bigger surfers, surfer, surface for acid attack, and I use my catch dish catch because uh, this jar got crack. See that bigger crack. But I think it's hold this type. So, what did what we do now? We got some hydrochloric acid, and we put that inside to eat all the base metal. See all that reaction. Not add too much because uh, when the process stop, we will decan this and uh, repeat that process for two, for two days. So what we do next is uh, to leave this for a couple of days to have a chloric acid 
eat all that nickel because we don't want a nickel in a final product, silver and palladium. Just what you need to do is the for every couple of hours you need to shake that. I got that weak because that uh, dust is just sitting on the bottom. Okay. Pretty hot reaction. You will add more hydrochloric. Okay, it's past over two days, and uh, the I decant the first HCl solution. So you see what we left. It's a uh, white slug, and uh, you see that MLCC is uh, this white stuff. It's a uh, silver chloride. So I filter that uh, HCl solution because I want to keep all that silver chloride in the in the filter. I use a charming plug. No, don't use a filter, and. Uh, you see that it's a black almost black color solution this is the indicate it's a nickel in the solution so what i do next is uh, i add more hcl just to be sure that i uh, leave it for more two days just to be sure that uh, i dissolve all the nickel uh, this is how it's white. This is all the silver. Everything white is the silver. See that? Okay, after four, five days, uh, we, re we remove with the HCl, hydrochloric acid, uh, we remove all that nickel and uh, somebody probably say why uh, not straight go to uh, nitric acid and dissolve and the nickel and the silver and uh, later remove uh, drop some silver from the nitric acid but we can do that because uh, we got mu too much solder lead and this in uh, tin and uh, lead inside so the first step it's always HCl to remove tin lead and uh, that solder and that nickel so now we decant all that second solution and on the bottom we don't got any silver chloride stay on the filter but now we need to wash rinse uh, that uh, stuff that mlcc several times with the water to remove all that left HCl because uh, the next step is a nitric batch that inside to dissolve uh, to dissolve uh, that silver and leave I hope only palladium so what we need this uh, now what we need to do is uh, wash that slug several times and uh, remove all that HCl okay I wash that several times but we still got some silver chloride inside. I think I remove every HCl, but maybe if stays some inside, not make such a big problem. Uh, that 001%. And what I want to show you now, you see that from the top, this is all the palladium foils. Okay. Now I will add nitric acid in that to dissolve all that silver and uh, 
when this is finished filtering, need uh, too much time, I will put that uh, silver chloride in this after I rinse him from the HCL. And okay, now. Now I will make a mix, half nitric, half water. Shit. This is not supposed to happen. Probably stay some hydrochloric acid inside. I have washed several times, but uh, maybe stay some. But okay, never mind. So, we'll leave it to dissolve, and when the job is finished, I'll be back. Okay hey guys, so this is our silver chloride and I dropped that so I decan that solution from this MLTTs. This is a filter inside. And what I do what I'm doing next is uh, I add HCL to drop that silver and if you see that on the bottom we already got silver chloride. Now we left that to settle down, but uh, you see that color is not white, it's got something, some yellow. So I think uh, I got uh, some HCL still on that MLCCs and uh, I dissolve some uh, palladium inside. But never mind, when I uh, filter that uh, silver, I... Uh, I dropped that palladium from that solution. Okay, and now we will add some aquavigia here to dissolve a, any left palladium, which is stay on ceramic. Okay, this is our stenius test, and he got we got uh, positive for uh, palladium. This is from this one, and this is our second batch.